and it comes down to the ownership because Tyler Perry's a billionaire because he owned all the shit. Yeah. And I remember I was talking to someone and they said, has there ever been a uh, a black entertainer that became rich without crossing over to a white audience? And I said, Tyler Perry. Yeah. Because if you think about it, white people don't really watch Tyler Perry films like that. No. There's there's Byron Allen too. Yeah. Yeah, Byron Allen. Byron Allen as well. Yeah, Byron But I think Allen. Tyler is sort of like the, the poster child for that type of yes. thing. Because I've never I've never seen any Medea films. But clearly they're very popular. Oh no, my people mother, love my it. mother told That's me. That's what I'm saying. My mother's like, you, you ain't funny as Tyler Perry. I was like, who? <laughs> Tyler Perry, boy. Tyler, we went to a Tyler Perry play. Woo! Oh yeah. And that's when I was like, what? It, it just goes to show, and that to me that is so dope because I'm in a in a media field as well, to think that you don't have to cross over or try to get this mainstream whatever over it is. With. It's over with. All you have to do, which is what I do in my business, is know who your audience is and keep feeding that audience and that's over and all, over like again. people were talking shit. I remember Spike Lee talking shit. The Tyler Perry movies and, Tyler, and Spike Lee came up with the slave era of film. So he didn't know you can just feed your audience mm -hmm. and do whatever. It is. And then as long as they, they're not looking at camera angles, they're looking to be entertained. Yeah. So that's all he does is entertain his audience. Is it funny? Does it have a good message? Does it have good actors? If, that's if, it. If my mother and my aunt come out there going, woo wee, but they go gonna get you. That is, yeah. Did you see what Tyler Perry did with um Chris Rock? Mm -mm. <laughs> Chris Rock did a movie called Top Five. I didn't see it, but I know about it. And he had a fake movie called Boo in it. That Tyler Perry was like Boo. Tyler Perry did that movie <laughs> and killed it. Mm. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? He he did Chris Rock's movie mm -hmm. and killed it. No, I remember, you know, Michael Jai White, who's done films with uh, Tyler. The guy that beat up Bruce Lee? Yeah, that guy. <laughs> the, the Bruce Lee beat up guy. Uh, I said, what is it about Tyler that has allowed him to be that successful? Mm -hmm. He said that this man works like no one I've ever seen. I never He is sitting there yeah. with the greats. Yeah, there's nobody I've ever seen work harder than Tyler. What do you think, apart from just the hard the hard work ethic. What is it, what quality is it in Tyler that allowed him to become a billionaire, self-made? I There was a time where I was wondering why he pushed himself so much. Like, that cat would do three shows, fly off on the weekend, do live you know, live um, theater shows, and then start the whole process over. Hmm. Yeah, he said he's sitting there writing. He doesn't use writer rooms. He yeah. writes everything himself. I can believe that. He owns everything himself. Yeah. During the pandemic, he was filming like four like sitcoms on the same day. He owns his own studio now, which is the biggest studio in America, if not the world. I don't know about that. They what keep do you mean? saying that. I'm it's like, not the biggest studio in America? Uh, the, Warner Brothers? It, that studio doesn't have more square footage than, than Warner Brothers. Have you been to Warner Brothers? Uh, I have been. I've never been to Tyler's studio though. Tyler, people over. think Warner Brothers is there. They got Warner Brothers there. They got the farm. Well, I'm talking about the single one continuous studio. I don't. I think that's. I don't know. They keep saying that, but I'm like, MGM, Sony. Are you crazy? Sony. Uh. So many hard, huge. hard to tell, hard to tell. Uh, well, regardless, I get it. This guy did it. I he's I, got yes, a he's yes. got a fucking airport runway in his house. Uh, uh, yes, in his house. Yeah, no, no shit. In the backyard. Yes. Okay, yeah, yeah. John Travolta. Yeah, yeah that shit. Yeah, I get it. It's rare air. Yeah, rare air. Yeah, exactly. I get it. Exactly. Trust so, like I said, as someone who does. You know, something similar to me, I'm like, yo, this is what you could do for real? A billion? You could be worth a billion? Okay, yeah. Yeah, right. if you stick to your guns. Yeah, stick do... to your guns. Doing, like I said, like, no crossover films at all. 
No, there's no, there's never no. nominated for a for an Oscar. You heard, you heard of the, the blues? What do you mean? <laughs> the blues, the, the music, the music, the blues. Yeah. Of course, I know the blues. There's no crossover. Yeah, it's just that people come to them. Rolling Stones came to BB King. Yeah, came to um, uh, um, Bobby Blue Band. Mm-hmm. And um, you know what I'm saying? Uh, uh, Howling Wolf. They didn't cross over. It's always been like that. But people in Hollywood are scary. You gotta do this. You gotta do this. The one guy goes, oh. Because they used to tell you don't ever, ever buy a camera and try to shoot your movie. That was the rule. Don't you don't buy a camera. The camera used to be a don't rent a camera. That's what you're doing right here? Don't 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 ever do that. Uh yeah, no, listen, I remember, I remember my first film, my first documentary, Ghost Ride the Whip. Mm, that was yours? That was me. Oh, really? Yeah. I got I was that. working on it in 2000. You I watched actually, it? I actually bought that. You bought it? Yeah, because hey, I Thank you. Yeah. I never got royalties for it, but whatever. Anyways, I'm working on that, and I'm working with the, the guy that owns the film company, right, mm-hmm. who's had a bunch of films and documentaries, whatever, mm-hmm. and I'm like... Yo, this YouTube shit is gonna be the next shit. Like, this is what I'm working on now. I'm starting this thing called Vlad TV. He's like, Psh, ain't no money in that. You need to just work with the movie uh, companies and get that upfront check. That's where the real money is. <laughs> like, okay, all right. Well, you keep doing that. Yeah. I will keep doing this. Yeah, yeah. I can these do days, me and him are uh, very uneven financially. <laughs> let me tell you, very, very much uneven. Um, and he was way better off than me back then. But that's the whole thing of. I was doing these Hollywood, I mean, they weren't Hollywood films, but they were documentaries. You know, they were on Showtime and yeah. shit like that. I got my upfront check and I never saw any royalties. What do you think is going on now with Netflix? Nobody's saying anything. Right. 